a huge demonstration over a small fare hike. Some more context here. Why was that the trigger? Well, Christy, it's just completely snowballed. It did start uh, as a protest against this hike in bus fares. Uh, but what we saw is that people started venting their anger, their frustration against the high cost of living, against the lack of uh, government accountability, and also against all of this money being spent on event like the World Cup. Um, and especially what we saw in last night's protest is a bunch of people joining in because of the harsh police crackdown in previous protests. So we just had a real laundry list of complaints, protests across the country. We're talking the biggest protests in 20 years. Um, now, like I said, they were across the country, but some of the biggest ones were in Rio de Janeiro and right here in Sao Paulo, and the vibe was just amazing. Uh, it was very positive, very festive. People were singing and chanting, and even the passers-by were cheering them on. Uh, there were more than 60,000 people on the streets here in Sao Paulo. They paralyzed the city, and even commuters stuck in traffic were honking their horns in support. And it just goes to show that people really are beginning to identify with this movement as long as the violence doesn't get out of control. And in fact, we saw very little police presence here in Sao Paulo, mostly directing traffic, until the very end when one group tried to storm the governor's palace, and there they did impede them. But it was a largely peaceful evening in Sao Paulo. I cannot say the same for the rest of the country. As you mentioned, uh, there were protests in the capital, Brasilia, where they tr took the roof of the Congress. They were standing on the roof of the Congress. Protesters in Rio de Janeiro uh, were vandalizing buildings and cars. They set a car on fire, and there, wa there were altercations with the police. The same goes for Belo Horizonte, where we've seen... Uh, uh, some games as part of the Confederations Cup, and the crowds there were dispersed with tear gas. So just a real mixed bag, but you get the feeling that this is snowballing, Christy. Yeah, and, and there are some parallels in Brazil with the situation in Turkey. As you mentioned, because of the harsh police response, more protesters coming to the scene, joining this demonstration. But I want to ask you about how the politicians in Brazil, how the leadership is responding. Is the president sympathetic towards the protesters? Well, I wouldn't go that far, Christy. You've, had, you've more than anything, we've heard silence. Uh, partly because these these protests are aimed at, at politicians in general. Uh, it's different parties in different states and different cities, and they're just sick of the lack of government accountability and what they call widespread corruption. We did get a response from the president Dilma Rousseff yesterday, but it was a written statement saying uh, it's the right in, in a democracy, people have the right to protest. Uh, but you see signs in all of these protests lashing out at the president, at the state governments, what they want, they want to hear their voices. They want to see that they are getting, that they're achieving something, either lowering the bus tariffs or the president coming out and in person addressing all of these issues. They feel like they're not getting answers. And we suspect that these protests will continue until they do, Christy. Yeah, and if these protests do continue, will they seriously disrupt plans for the upcoming World Cup? Well, Christy, I know that's what the world is fixated on, but that's not what Brazil is worried about right now. Um, I think what they want to see is a change, again, in the relationship with the government. They feel they pay very high taxes and get very little in return. They feel like they pay high fares for bus and metro for a system that doesn't really work. They spend two to three hours uh, getting to and from their offices. It, if they held protests during the World Cup, yes, it would interrupt them. But I think this is really about how the country as a whole functions. And that's what Brazil is focused on, Christy.